Hello, welcome to another video from Avenue X. Look at Chinese drama land in the past week. We don't have that much going on this time, but we will have quite a few new dramas showing up next week. So presumably, I'm gonna get very busy starting from next week. First, on April the second, we've had a new drama airing, kind of airdropping on Tencent. You Jian Xiao Yao, seeing Xiao Yao again, seeing Li Xiao Yao again, and this is a remake. Of the first Chinese paladin two decades ago needs no introduction. It literally paved the future two decades road of fantasy idol drama. And the English title right now is Sword and Fairy, which is very confusing because we've already had two Sword and Fairy this year. Now this is another one, but this is original one based on the game and then the first drama. It's led by He Yu, Yang Yu Tong, Xu Hao, Li Chuan, Hu Yixuan, Ye Shengjia. I kind of know half of them. I've seen them in other things, and the other half. Completely having no clue about who they are. I haven't had time to watch it, and I'm afraid in a way that when I watch the new one, I will just be so disappointed by the dropped standard of drama land of the last twenty years that it's just gonna make me too sad. Still arguing with myself whether I should test it out. We shall see. <laughs> Then last week we talked about quite a few dramas that are likely to air. Actually, they will all air. Now they have kind of all announced their time, slightly shifting things, but not really that much. For example, the live surgery room with Dai Xu and Zhang Bingbing. It's gonna go live on the sixth. Chen Huanji, best choice ever. Yang Zi Xu Kai contemporary drama is also confirmed. It's gonna go live on the ninth. Also, the city of the city, the Bai Yufan and Yu Hewei drama. Now with the new release trailer, I think it's talking about finances and. Corruption. That's also gonna go live on the ninth on CCTV One and Web Platform. Then the coming weekend, which is actually right now, <laughs> if you're watching my video as it comes out on Saturday morning North America time, it would be actually the time in China that the ceremony has just finished, which is the annual Television Big Awards that's hosted by Shanghai Television (SMG) is the media groups. Big name, but you can call it Shanghai Dongfang Television Tai, Shanghai Oriental Television. They do an annual Chinese Drama Award this weekend. Is their 2024, and you're gonna have a new red carpet. And then let's see how many people will get awards and how many names they can make up for all their awards. And this is really that type of occasion to show you how much you can play with Chinese language. Then there is a 34 episodes Mingguo espionage drama that is likely unconfirmed but very likely to go live. On April the fifteenth, on Mango Television, because it needs to have a drama going on every night. So when the previous drama ends, the next drama. So most likely it will be this one, and that will be the Ren Min and Li Xian led Mingguo drama, Qunxing Shan Yao Shi, Shooting Stars. We've seen. Promotional materials of this drama since the end of last year to now, quite a lot, and it still hasn't get scheduled. I think right now probably would be the good time to do it. Then during this week, we have a couple of new projects started shooting. First, there is a very interesting contemporary drama that has started shooting this week called Zai Ren Jian. It's an Ai Qi Yi drama, and English title is What a Wonderful World. Not to be mixed with Ren Shi Jian. This is Zai Ren Jian, literally means. In the human realm, I guess the most attractive thing about this is it's led by Zhao Liying and Yin Fang, and this is actually a really, really interesting story. It's about multiple personality, and based on the synopsis, the male character played by Yin Fang is the main character, and he has multiple personalities. Six of them. One of them is Zhao Liying, but they don't know each other's existence, so she is not aware of him. He is not aware of her. She is one of the six split. Personalities of this guy. It's a story about these two people who, in a way, know each other, understand each other, protect each other, but never have a chance to meet each other. I think that's like such an interesting premise to create characters upon, and imagine like all the possibilities for actors to play with this type of setup. Immediately, it's intriguing. I want to watch this drama just by looking at the synopsis and knowing it's these two people without knowing anything else. I I'd be intrigued instead of like you know. Period. I do drama land. Not saying it doesn't have its point of existence. I think it has its targeted audiences, and there will be people who always need that type of dramas. But I can only live in the now. I cannot live in my past or my future. Fantasy period. I do drama is unfortunately is just in my past, and I don't live in it. 
anymore. I look forward to Zhao Liying's new drama in contemporary realistic settings with such an interesting setup. Ever since I watched Feng Chui Ban Xia, I really just want to see her doing more of those type of dramas because it's just like it's just so much more satisfying. So that's one interesting project that has started shooting that I'll definitely keep an eye on. We also have a new drama that has started shooting this week and this is that team and that company, Changxin Chuanmei's stuff, because it's produced by Guo Jingyu, that guy, and then it's led by, well, many familiar faces from his previous works, including Strange Tales of Tang Dynasty, and this time it is a 30 episodes set early last century time businessman entrepreneur of last century story called Shi Cheng Shanghai Contenders and it's led by Wei Zi and Yang Xuwen we also feature other actresses such as the producer's wife Yue Li Na and this is a pair of older and younger guy who would act more like Shi Fu and Tu Di and in a way almost like adopted father and son and at the beginning of last century they go from China to Southeast Asia and since it's called Shi Cheng that actually means single it will be a story of the Chinese people in Southeast Asia doing businesses at the beginning of last century. So that's another interesting drama. I can't wait to see more information, posters, and give us an idea about what the drama may look like coming out. They just started shooting, so we probably have to wait a week or two. So these are the dramas aired, will air soon shooting right now. Then I know, pretty much from the beginning of this year to now, the super short dramas are really hot in China. I am not deep into it, I'm not a huge fan of it, so I haven't really dabbled much into it, but I know it's big. We have also slightly longer short dramas. Last year we've had Provoke Zhao Rue, which is led by these two actor actress the leads and right now they each have their own short drama that's doing very well one is on Tencent the other one is on Mango depends on if I can actually get around and watch them all one is called Nan Xun, which is hard to find I think that would be the literal translation it's on Mango that's led by the guy who was from last year's Provoke and then led by the girl from last year's Provoke is on Tencent it's called Zhibi it has already finished it's called Fortune Rider I've watched like the first 40% and then the last couple of episodes so I know how it ends these two dramas are doing pretty well we have many other short dramas that are definitely buzzing on their own platforms but now I see this trend of things getting even more and more subgroup and subdivided which is if you are within a drama's particular targeted demographics it's likely that you really get it and you love it and there's this little bubble that you see of people who are really really fascinated by this one particular drama or genre and then outside of the bubble the other people are completely unaware of its existence and internet has been broken down into that type of super sub divided groups as an individual person it becomes increasingly difficult for me to actually keep track on what is hot per se very soon it's gonna be impossible for me to actually even as a dedicated to chinese drama and review channel and drama reviewer to actually be kept up with what's going on i realized that very strongly this year which is i am so not connected to the short drama world therefore i'm completely unaware of what's going on although i know it's like hot 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 and if you happen to be somebody who's watching a lot of those short dramas you can educate me on that i've watched parts of Jibi fortune writer and on one hand i think it's better than a lot of big productions that spends a lot of money so-called s plus that that is literally not worth your time and energy to watch this type of super tiny productions on one hand it's actually a better drama than those big s plus dramas on the other hand you do realize this type of dramas because of their very low budget very small more size like 15 minutes per episode it's very limited with its type of stories it can tell it usually resolves to completely lift it up from reality completely fictional settings and it doesn't even go into any detail about sort of explaining what the world setting is and usually it gets really really compressed and reductionist and simple that it can be a very quick enjoyment it's like fast food but i don't think it actually provides much value occasionally eat a burger might be actually fun but if you do it every day it's not gonna do much good at least that's what i feel about those so i don't watch that many short dramas but i do know <laughs> there are so many of them right now ongoing and they're very very hot it happens for a reason and for people who need that you know it's totally totally fine but if you want to see a lot of my review on this type of dramas on my channel it may not happen very in time or very often totally depends on if any particular one really catches my eyes 
So that should conclude this week's video. Thank you for watching Avenue X. I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy drama watching.